built. As you can see, back in 1946. And from the looks of it, that might have been the last time they used it. So we're gonna burn up our Christmas tree from last year and have a little dinner. Wow, that didn't take any time to go up. Get it! Shack! Shorts! Okay. So, as you can see, we got some cedar plank soaking. Guess what that means? Yep, that's right, cedar plank salmon. We got some wild sockeye salmon here. Shady. And that is, all that is is just olive oil and salt. Then we have some veggies that we're gonna grill up. And that is just marinated with a little balsamic, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of sugar. So as soon as we get some coals rocking, we're gonna cook this stuff up. Okay, so first we're gonna cook off the vegetables. That way we um, get, get them all nice and charred. And it's okay because we want them to kind of be a little cool by the time we eat them. It's gonna be more like a vegetable salad as opposed to just grilled and hot vegetables. Got some eggplant, got some zucchini, a little summer squash, a little orange pepper, a little red pepper, tomato, red onion. Yeah. You really just wanna cook these so you get a little char on each side and then pull them off. The residual heat will do the rest. Now to put the stock guy salmon on. Put them on the cedar plank, skin side down, and cook, cook them the rest of the way on the planks. Give them nice cedar flavor, along with this crazy smoky flavor. We'll be done. How do you know the salmon's done? Usually when that white stuff comes out, it's, it's about there. That would be about, uh, right now we got it at about uh, rare to medium rare. We're gonna go a little longer and be good to eat. Here for a little added citrus flavor. Summertime salmon. 